So is it possible to get your CCNA in 84 days? Now, why 84 days? Well, because of this. Alexa, how many days until February 20th? February 20th, 2020 is in 84 days. Certpocalypse is on February 23rd, 2020. That's the last day you can take any of the current CCNA or CCMP exams from Cisco. Giving you a bit of wiggle room until the last day, you have about 84 days to test for the exams. So whether you're studying for CCNA or CCMP, you got that much time. So can you do it? I think yes. Now it is going to be difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you. Depending on where you're starting at, that's a lot of information to digest and download and, and truly understand in 84 days, but I know it's possible with the right tools, with the right study methods, and with the right amount of grit and focus. You can do this. So this video is for you. If you are thinking about going for your CCNA and you are at zero, or it's it's you if you are halfway through, you have ICND2 left, or maybe you are um, studying for your CCMP. I would say it's not too late. You don't have to wait for the new stuff. You can still get the old stuff and really, really win in February. If you want to know why you will win, I've got two videos talking about the MP and the NA, uh, why it would be a good idea to get your current ones now. And just so you know, I'm in the same boat. I have to take my CCMP route and my CCMP switch exam before February 23rd. I'm doing the same thing as you right now, but how are we going to do it? Well, we need help. We need the right tools, uh, which brings me to the sponsor of this video, Boson. They produce the absolute best labbing software and the best practice exam software in the industry. So good, so awesome, in fact, that I asked them to give away some today. So I'm giving away five of their XSIM product for CCNA and five of their lab software for CCNA, the NetSIM product. Link below to enter that contest. Now, all of you aren't going to win. Some of you will lose. Most of you will lose. If you want Boson NetSIM uh, for CCNA, which again, will help you get to February 23rd and have that CCNA, they have you 30% off coupon code right now until like Saturday. So check the link below. Now's the time to get your study material and kill it. And real quick before we move on, I'm also giving away a Synology NAS, which NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. It's way better than having just an external hard drive. And um, they are the best. I, I got one last year and I run my Plex server off of it. I run some virtual machines off of it. And of course I store all my stuff on there. Um, I back up my virtual machines. I put all my video editing stuff on there. All the videos I record for Network Chuck and, and CBT Nuggets, I back it up to my Synology, which also backs up automatically to Google Cloud. It's the best. So I'm giving away their DS418 NAS and they're also throwing in thanks to Seagate two four terabyte drives. So shout out to Seagate for offering that as well. So this is so killer. Um, Again, link below to enter to win a Synology NAS. It changes the game, really. I use it for Linux VM labs. I run some Kali Linux off of it. Uh, it's the best. <laughs> I can't recommend them highly enough. So if you're looking at getting one, they do have some sales going on right now. Link below. And um, again, you all can't win. So you should go pick up one right now for Black Friday before you forget. So anyways, both those great vendors, I'm giving away their stuff. Link below to celebrate my 200,000 subscriber milestone. But now let's talk about the CCNA and NP and how, how possible it can be for you to even reach this goal of getting it before February 23rd, which is 84 days away starting today. Now I'm not gonna cover too much on the CCP side, but CCNA, I know you can do this. So wherever you're at in the process, let's talk about what that schedule might look like for you. And for that, I'm gonna look at CBT Nuggets real quick. Check this out. CBT Nuggets published two study plans you can follow to get your ICND1 and ICND2. This is the ICND2 one, and then we got ICND1, there it is. Now, this specifically covers using CBT Nuggets as your training material, which I highly recommend. Uh, but you can take the way they split up the topics as a kind of a guideline for you. Now, I will say this. These study plans are for uh, more time than what you have now. Um, so if I look at it here, for ICND1, they're allotting uh, roughly nine weeks. And then for ICND2, they're allotting about uh, 12 weeks. So 22 weeks total for the entire CCNA. You don't have 22 weeks. You have roughly 11 weeks. Alexa, what is 84 divided by seven? Oh, you got exactly 12 weeks. So you're probably thinking, Chuck, how does that help me? <laughs> well, you can double up. Because I told you, it's going to take a bit of work. It will be hard, but you can do it and it will be worth it. If you want to know more about why it's worth it, uh, check out my video where I talked about the new CCNA, all the changes, and why you should still get the current one to win in February. Anyways, let's keep going. Looking at the ICND-1 study plan, we can see they break down the topics each week you should focus on. This is fantastic. It's a great way to tackle all of the CCNA topics, but because you have less time, double up. Do week one and week two in one week. Week three and week four in one week. Y you get the picture, right? but at least you have a guideline. Because I know just looking at the uh, CCNA exam topics and going, huh, 
how do I do this? It's kind of frustrating. Even if you look at the exam guide, like the OCG guides, like Wendell Odom's books or Todd Lamley's, they're awesome too. Just looking at all that information going, how am I going to do this? This split helps you kind of break that down, which is a key when studying. So I'll put a link to those two study plans below. And they're great because you could be halfway through or you could be a quarter of the way through and you just kind of go and plan your way to finish by February 20th. And I do highly recommend using CBT Nuggets as your video training. Fantastic. Jeremy Chara will keep you inspired, keep you motivated, and of course, teach you along the way. Other than CBT Nuggets, there is great training on Udemy. I highly recommend Udemy, especially right now because they're doing their Black Friday sale. Every, almost every course is $10, $10. So this is a time, people. <laughs> if you want to learn anything in 2020, um, I would pick up all those courses now. $10 for whatever you can, whatever you can dream of. Linux, Python, everything. So you to me, check the link below. David Bombal has some great courses, his whole CCNA course, his Packet Tracer Labs course. So check that out, links below for that as well. You can use that study plan with any video training or book training you find. You know, one day it could be studying WAN topics and you just go through WAN stuff. Okay, so we covered the timeline and what, how you can kind of figure out how to make yourself ready. But then how do you know if you're ready? How do you know if you're gonna bomb or, or kill that test on February 20th when you're when you're going to schedule the exam, right? This is where Boson XSIM comes into play. Boson has probably the best. I, I think it is the best. No, no, it is the best uh, CCNA practice, practice exams out there. Many people say their practice exams are harder than the actual CCNA exam. So it's great, great uh, indicator if you're ready. And I think it's essential when you're under a time crunch, you need regular check-ins to see how you're doing. So with exam sim, if you look at my screen now, I blew through it real quick. I wasn't really trying to do anything. But what I wanted to show you is they'll show you where you're at in each technology, how well you're doing, and what you need to go back and focus on so you can maximize your studying time. If I go to category breakdown, it shows me how I'm doing and where I kind of fall short. So you'll know you're ready on exam day when you're doing pretty well on the Boson exams. And I love Boson the most because they... Their exams feel like you're actually taking the real Cisco exams, which is great because the Cisco exam environment feels a bit weird. Maybe not what you're used to when you're working with uh, stuff in your own lab. So they do a great way of simulating that. I'll show you real quick. What I love with the simulation. So if I come in here, I can launch a simulator up something that you would probably see on the CCNA. And I'm telling you, this is how it looks in the exam. It's so cool. Like the, even the color scheme, they got right. So it's, it's, it's perfect. Now, again, I'm giving away five copies of their CCNA X Sim uh, software, which is incredible. So, oh my gosh, just go enter below for the contest. And I'm also giving away five of their NetSim product for CCNA, which is the best labbing software out there. Let me show it to you real quick. Um, basically, it's like anything you would see, GNS3 or um, Packet Tracer except way better because they have all these pre-built labs you can just go through real quick without even thinking about it. So maybe you know you're rusty on configuring DHCP. You go in here, click on the DHCP lab, it launches it, gives you a topology, you're logged in immediately, has instructions you go through. And the beautiful part about this lab is when you're done with it, when you complete it, you click grade and it tells you how you did, which best labbing software out there. I used it for my CCMP troubleshooting exam and it was incredible. I didn't have much time to prepare for that exam and they really helped me out. Oh my goodness. It was the best thing ever. So again, I'm giving away five copies of those and five copies of the XM. So links below. And if you don't win, again, Black Friday sale, 30% off. I would highly, highly recommend you go for that. Now, maybe you're thinking, Chuck, I don't think I can do this. I'm not sure 84 days is enough time for me. I'm really busy at work and stuff. I totally get it. Uh, still, I want you to try. Here's the situation. Let's say you try and come February 15th, you're like, ah, I've been failing all my boson um, pra practice exams. I can never say practice exam, <laughs> practice exam. Um, you've been failing all of them and you're, you're just not ready. It's cool. It's fine. You can get a refund on that exam and schedule the new exam. And here's where you win because most of the CCNA topics carry over into the new CCNA. You're not losing. You only win. It's a win, win, win. And whatever you get with Boson, the XSIM or the, uh, the, the NetSIM, they're going to carry you over to the new exam. So when their products release for the new stuff, you're going to get that too. So no worries. You're not missing out on anything. You're just preparing for whatever you do now, whether it be the current CCNA or the new CCNA. Either way, you're going to win. And I want to see, I want to see you challenge yourself. I want to see you get this. I think now is your prime time for, for a lot of people, the holidays, you get some time off, right? Like a little bit of time off. You have time to study that you wouldn't normally have, you know, in your day-to-day -day life and, and, and being busy at work. You got that brain space to really devote to study. Now that brings me to how do you study? What habits can you form? Uh, what methods can you use to maximize the time you have now? Because you don't have a lot of time. Uh, 
CBT Nug has actually posted some great blog articles on this exact subject because they know people are under a crunch, right? Um, if I go look at their site once more, they've got two articles I love, how to cram for an exam if you must, and then how to study for an exam in less time. Great articles, I'll put both in the description below. So by all means, look at those articles for some good tips. I'll give you two that I think will change your study game for you right now. Um, it changed it for me when I started implementing these into my, my schedule. Uh, one is use the Pomodoro method. If you're not familiar with that, it's where you use a timer, and I'm actually using it right now to record this video. You set a timer for 25 minutes, and during that 25 minutes, you do nothing else but the task you set your mind to. So it's probably gonna be a lab or maybe you're reading a book, you're studying a CCNA, whatever it is. You only do that for that 25 minutes. No interruptions, you lock the door, tell your wife and kids, go away, tell your husband, I'm busy. You're, 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 you're doing that right now. After 25 minutes, you can step back. Put the timer on for five minutes, walk away, take a break. When your five minutes is done, you come back, another intense focused study session. This has by far been the best. I, I, I use it for everything. I use it for my job. I use it for studying. It's, it's the best thing. For me, it helps me stay focused. And it's also kind of a thing where I'm tricking myself into studying when I don't want to. If I'm like, okay, I need to study today, but I don't have like a whole afternoon to do a whole study session, but I do have 25 minutes. I can do one Pomodoro session to, to just do something today. And you know what happens? What happens is I end up doing more than I set out to do. So I'm kind of tricking myself. So I try at least to at least have one Pomodoro session each day doing what I'm studying for. And it most of the time ends up, it turns into something more, more of a study session that I plan to do. So it's really helpful. Uh, number two, what I would recommend is um, spaced repetition as a study method. Now, th this is kind of difficult because spaced repetitions are really effective when you have a lot of time to study something. Um, but I think it's good now, even with 84 days. So what it is, it's, it's a flashcard system, basically. You're familiar with flashcards, right? Put a fact down, figure down, whatever. Like, what's the administrative distance of OSPF, EIGRP? You put on a flashcard, turn it around, did I get it right? Yeah, I got it right. Spaced repetition is great because it helps you save your time and it also maximizes how your brain remembers things. So let's say I have the, you know, the, the note card that says, uh, what is the administrative distance of EIGRP? So I turn it over and I said it right. It was 90. Cool. It won't give me that card again until maybe the next day. The next day, EIGRP, what's the AD? 90. Cool. I got it right again. It's not going to give me that card again until like maybe two days later. If I get it right again, it's going to give it to me maybe six, seven, or even 10 days later. It's spacing it out and it's making sure it places those facts in your long-term memory. And you're not wasting time studying the same facts over and over that you don't need to study. That's why it's so cool. So I would recommend a spaced repetition system to maximize your study sessions. Um, an app I love and use every day is called Anki. It's totally free. Uh, unless you want to get it for like your iPhone, it costs about 20 bucks to have it downloaded to your iPhone. But as far as like the PC and everything, it's free. And I love it because uh, when I'm like at the store or I'm, I'm w in a waiting room somewhere, w w just idle time, right? Like riding the subway or wh whatever you're doing, uh, you can just pop out your Anki real quick and go through the flashcards you have assigned for that day. Knock them out, knock them out, knock them out. It's great for those in-between study sessions. So you're maximizing your use of time, especially now in the holidays when you're you know chilling with the family and maybe everyone's watching a movie. You're like, huh, I'll just kind of sit over here and do some flashcards. <laughs> just, you know, whatever. Those are my two big tips. And then you can read the uh, the articles for more advanced stuff. Like I, it, it mentions things like having, um, having a quiet place to study, like having your place uh, that just puts you in the study mode. Uh, having a ritual. Like for me, it's making coffee, the smell of coffee, the act of drinking coffee just puts me in that study mindset. So if that's for you, man, do it. And also get a network chuck mug. What's going to help you study more than that? <laughs> so to sum all this up, can you get the CCNA in 84 days starting at nothing? I truly believe you can. It won't be one of those situations where, oh, I'm going to um, kind of study for an hour each day and I'll be fine. No, it's going to take it's gonna take some dedication. Like you need to find every spare moment to devote to studying. For some that might be three to four hours a day, might be more, but you saw the study plan we talked about earlier. You need to look at that, figure out how you can squeeze two weeks worth into one week and go for it. And using the right tools will get you there quicker. So using Boson NetSim for your labbing software will help you solidify those ideas and those things. It, it, it'll take the, the, the theory and, and help you make it more practical and you'll remember everything so well. Labbing is the most important thing you can do to um, advance in your IT career and to ace that CCNA exam. And then of course, using the Boson XM to uh, see if you're ready, doing a little health check, see how you're doing. Again, if you can pass those exams on the regular, then uh, you know you're ready. You know, worst case, if come February 15th, you're not ready, you can refund that exam that you scheduled because that's what I advise you to do now. If you if you are committing to this, if you want to get your CCNA in 84 days or less, you know, if you want to be a beast and 
15 days, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Schedule that exam now. Go out there and schedule the exam. You can always change it, but just set the day out there now so it's in your mind so you know you have the, the day and you, it's important to have that date out there. And you can always refund it, change it, whatever. Just make sure you do it uh, more than 24 hours out. If you, I've done this before, if, if you try to change it or move it and it's less than 24 hours until your exam, you can't change it. You're done. Like You have to go take it. Well, anyways, I, um, I'll be doing this with you. So I'm going for my CCMP routing and my CCMP switching. I'm going to schedule the exams actually right now. And um, I'll be going through Boson XSIM. I'll be going through Boson NetSIM, uh, preparing myself for these exams. And I have 84 days. If I can knock out two professional level exams in 84 days, you can knock out the CCNA in 84 days. So join me. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to join me in this battle. Apocalypse, man, we're at the tail end. And um, it's time to get serious. Time to show everybody what you're made of and get this done. Well, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for helping me hit 200,000 subscribers. I never dreamed I'd be here. Seriously, so thank you so much. And uh, again, to celebrate this, I do have a giveaway below. So Boson XM and Boson NetSim giving away five copies of each. And then also I'm giving away a Synology NAS, which I love my Synology NAS. I can do so much on it. I do everything on it. I, I do Plex and all, it's just oh so good. And this is not the end of my giveaway. I'm giving away some more stuff over the next few days. Get ready. All right, well, that's about it. Time to get to work. Let's go study.